Hello, Patrick at Solar Trek. This is Joel from JND SEO. And we spoke briefly earlier, and I told you I'd send this video over. So I'm going to show you three ways that you can beat your competition online. Now, I don't want to waste your time, Patrick. I don't want to waste mine. So I'm going to make this as quick as possible. If at the end of the video you want to hear more information, let's set up a 10 minute phone call. If not, no problem. I'm actually going to give you free tips in the video. You could go ahead and apply those right to your site. All right, first thing I want to talk about, Patrick, is content. And so I'm on your homepage here, and I'm just kind of trying to see about how many words of content you have. And it looks like you guys probably have under 200 words of content on your homepage. Google recommends having about 1,500. The reason that you want so much content is that the more content you have, the higher Google is going to rank you. But the second and more important reason is that the more content you have, the more keywords and keyword phrases you can put into that content. As an example, I've put in Solar Ocala, Florida. And I put this in for two reasons. Number one, it's a good keyword to bring in volume. But the other reason is that it's what new customers would be searching if they were looking for your services. First thing they would see would be all of these ads at the top of the page. And that's just companies basically paying to be seen first by new customers in hopes of landing business. After that, we're going to find this map section. Top three companies are gonna show up here based on citations. And that's just when you get your business name, address, and phone number all listed together into a directory site such as Yelp, Yellow Pages, Home Advisor, just to name a few. And you guys do appear up in here on the third one. So great job with that. That must mean you guys have some good citations. After that, we're going to run into our organic section. This is where we start seeing companies show up with their websites. These don't show up randomly. They all show up based on Google's kind of algorithm and formula. And we now know two parts of that that we've talked about are content and keywords. Also, these show up in reference to our key phrase that we searched, which was Solar Ocala, Florida. So we can rank these accordingly. Number one would go to Go Solar Trek, which is you guys. Great job with that. Number two would go to Energy Sage. And number three would go to Solar Lights and more. And before I leave this page, I do want to just mention that there's 10 results per page that show up in the organic section. Next up, I've taken your website, GoSolarTrek.com, and plugged it into a program I use called Eris. This just allows me to kind of analyze the site and see how you guys are doing. I do see your business name up here first, Solar Trek. That's a good thing. It allows Google to find you a little bit easier. <clears throat> after, <clears throat> after that, we also have a few key phrases such as solar energy, um, which you can be found for as well. I want to dive into the numbers a little bit. 65 referring domains sending you back about 182 links to your page. And you guys, um, all that really means is that you have about 65 websites that you guys have links on to those sites kind of like a partnership. And when you click those, people will automatically be redirected back to your page, gosolartrek.com. So there's 82 links on those 65 pages, so about three per page. 145 keywords, what you guys currently can be found for in searches such as Google. And these are what really drive the visitors to your site. And these 145 keywords are bringing you about 70 visitors to your site per month. So what I want to do next is actually go ahead and click these keywords and see where the traffic's coming from. First thing we see is Solar Trek, and that's your business name. 100 people do search that currently, and you guys are in the top position. Remember we talked about there's 10 results per page in the organic section. So obviously number the top 10 will be on that first page. That's where you really want to be. 80 to 85 percent of people will not go to page two we found in searches. So being in the top 10 is critical to getting visitors to your page. Um, so being number one, obviously you get the biggest percentage of that volume that's coming in. People who search you by name, that's gonna be some referrals and some people who probably saw your signage and didn't have all your contact info and looked you up. But you also wanna bring in new customers, right? So what we're really looking for is a specific service you offer with a specific location. Um, and let's see. There is some with your name on them, but I'm trying to find one that does not have your name. So that's somebody that would kind of search it um, that didn't know. Oh, I think I saw one here. Let's just do a quick search. All right, so there we go. Ocala Power Company, not the best. We're looking for more specific to solar. But Power Company in Ocala, that could work 
Florida, 10 people search it. You guys are 81 on that. Again, you really want to be in the top 10. <clears throat> and it looks like you guys are pretty much in the top 10 for most of the keywords that have to do with your name. But you definitely want to get a few more in there that are going to bring in new customers. Such as like what we put in, Solar Ocala, Florida. It could be Solar Panels, Ocala, Florida. Solar Energy, Ocala, Florida. Those would all work. So let's just go to Energy Sage, one of your competitors. Look at kind of what they're doing. We see that they've got their headers up here as well in Arifs. Uh, five, over 5,000 referring domains, sending back over 700,000 links to their page. About 168,000 keywords, bringing in about 263,000 visitors to their site per month. So let's just kind of take a look at theirs. They have solar panels in here. That's not a bad key phrase, um, depending on how big the company is and where they're at. Uh, the problem with that is that the national term, people could search it from all over the U.S. And if they are a national company, then that's no problem. But if they are limited to Florida, then obviously it's not going to be as helpful for those calls that come in that, you know, they're not in that area. Um, so what we really do want to find is, again, some of those key phrases that we just didn't see over here. So let's do a quick search here. Let's do Florida and just kind of see what comes up. So, so there we go. That's a good one. Solar panels, Florida, at least it's specific to a location. Still really good volume on it, 2,200. And they're number two for that. So that's where they're getting a big chunk of volume. Solar panels, Florida, uh, that's the exact same. Florida Solar Incentives, that's not bad, not quite as buyer intent. Here we go, Solar Companies in Florida, that's a good one, 450, and the number two. So they're ranked in the top 10 for these, and that's why they're really gonna bring in um, more traffic. Florida Solar, Solar Florida, these are all really good terms that I'd recommend you guys having, and maybe you did have a couple of them. Um, we just would wanna get you probably ranking a little higher for those. All right, but thank you for your time, and if you guys do wanna hear more, like I said, 10 minute phone call, we can help you dominate the competition. Um, you know, and, and like I said, there's some free tips in here for you. Thank you for your time. I will just give you a call for some follow-up to ask what you thought of the videos. I'm trying to help a couple of Florida businesses out in each area. And, um, you know, so any anything you could help me with and offer would definitely be helpful for them. Thank you and have a great day.